In this video, I'm going to talk about annual percentage yield, or simply APY. When we read in the news or bank statements, we often see the term APY next to the annual interest rate. These two numbers are sometimes different. So, what is APY? To begin, let's start with the compound interest formula. If you don't know this formula, please check out the video by clicking on the link at the top right corner. In this compound interest formula, the little r stands for the nominal interest rate per year. This is the rate posted by the bank. How about APY? APY has another name called effective interest rate, written as little r with a subscript EFF. The APY is measuring the actual percentage increase to your principal after one year. For example, if the nominal interest rate is 10%, then if you started with $100, instead of getting $110 at the end of the year, you get $110.47. Don't worry about the actual numbers right now, as we will get into the details in this video. But the main idea is that the APY is measuring the actual percentage increase after one year, and that's often different from the nominal interest rate. The formula for APY is given by the following. As you may notice, this formula has some resemblance to the compound interest formula above. Indeed, they are closely tied. We mentioned the APY is calculating the percentage you earn after one year. Hence, we should take T to be equal to 1, and that's why you do not see T in the exponent, but only M, because M is coming from M times 1. We also take P, the principal, to be equal to 1. Why? We are not necessarily talking about $1, but we are talking about 1 as 100%. The principal you start with is 100%, so P is equal to 1. Finally, why do we need to minus 1 here? As we said, APY is trying to find the percentage you earn. Hence, after you find out how much is the total balance at the end of one year, you need to subtract the principal so that you can find out the amounts you earn. Minus 1 is to subtract the principal, 100%. Now that we understand the formula, let's take a look at some examples. If the annual interest rate is 10% and the interest is compounded monthly, in order to find the APY, we should apply the formula directly. 1 plus little r is 0.1 in this problem, because 10% is converted to 0.1 in decimal form. As for m, it should be 12, because it's compounded monthly, so there are 12 compounding periods within a year. To the power 12, minus 1. If you plug it into the calculator, it's approximately 0 0.1047. Don't think that this is 0.1%. This is actually the decimal form of the percentage. So this is actually 10.47%. And that's why if you deposited $100 at the beginning of the year, you are going to get $110.47 at the end of the year. This extra 0.47% may seem entirely insignificant, but don't underestimate it. Let's say the principal is $100. If the APY is 10.47%, after 40 years, 
we will get approximately $5,370. If the APY is 10%, or essentially, we are doing compounding yearly instead of monthly, then after 40 years, we are only going to get $4,526, which is more than $800 less than before. But both of them are much better than simple interest. For simple interest, we are only going to get a laughable $500 after 40 years. Lastly, if you recall, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that the annual interest rate posted by the bank is usually different from the APY. Why did I say usually? Let's take a look at the following example. If the interest rate is very low, just 0.2%, and it is compounded daily, like a savings account, then after we plug in 0.002 into R, and 365 into M, we find that the APY is approximately 0 0.002002, or converted to percentage, that means moving the decimal points by two places, we will have 0.2002%. Well, there are a lot of zeros, so most banks will just tell you that the APY is approximately 0.2%, which looks like the same as the annual interest rate, but they are still slightly different, only that the rounding error disappeared. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, and we will learn more from math together. Thank you.